we're going to take a look at Grafton, which is also known as Kitchener Stitch. But in Shetland, we never use that. We just say Grafton. Um, and we graft lots because we don't like to sew up. We don't like casting off and sewing up. We don't like knitting flat. We prefer to knit in the round. So grafting is how we join one piece to the next if we have to. So to begin with, uh, grafting on stock and stitch. So I have two pieces of knitting and we're going to join the two. As again, this is process. We like working with process, not product. To begin with, you take your thread up through the, the stitch that it's attached to and you come up from the back up to the front. That finishes off that stitch. Then you go into the back needle and you go in and then reverse it out. Here you've gone in through the stitch, take it off and come out. In through the back stitch and out. We have a, a saying that we learnt, um, and it's in Shetland, it's tiddy fiddy fiddy tiddy. It doesn't make much sense to people who are not Shetlanders. Um, so I change it. That's using yourself as, as a, a focus point for where your needle is going. From you and to you is how it translates. And the other one's the opposite, to you and from you. But if you change the focus of where your needle is pointing to your finger, and we put our, our finger in between the two needles, it makes it easier to work the stitches on each and you can tension the thread over that finger and get the stitch the correct length. So if I use my finger as the focal point as to where my needle is pointing, it's to my finger and away. I change that to in and out, in towards my finger and out from my finger. So it's the same instruction for each stitch, in, off and out. In, off and out. That makes it really simple. And your tension up, draw it in. You're not really tensioning that thread that you've just done. You're tensioning the one before because as you go to the next instruction, that opens up a little. So in, off and out. And tensioning that up, you can see that that has got bigger. So I pull that in until that's the correct length. So in and off and out. You see this better if you do it in a separate color. So if I change color here, so if I change to this reddish color, we love it, it's called strawberry, in and out and draw through. Catch that end down. In and out. You get a few in and then you can see the stitch happening. to do this as a living. You get quite fast at it when you're doing it all day. So you can see the stitch that you're knitting and what you're doing is mimicking the stitches that you would knit. So it's exactly the same as Swiss darning if you've done that but you're just taking live stitches together and you should see that stitch tightening up. Get a 
it in the right place. You can see the stitches tightening. Again. Okay, so that was grafting in stock and stitch. But there's different stitches you can graft through, and the other one that's really useful, especially in lace knitting, is grafting in garter stitch. So I have two pieces of garter here, and what I've done is mark the right side of the fabric so that you graft with them both up. If you can make a mistake so easily if you don't mark it and do that, and then you've got a right and a wrong side. And you've got to take all that grafting out again. So exactly the same start, but you've got to check before you start that you've got a purl row on this side and a knit row on this. Yeah, purl bumps are right next to the needle here, and on this one, the purl bumps are one row down. So what you're going to graft is a purl row on this needle and a knit row on this needle. And again, it's quite simple once you get into the rhythm of it. If I'm going to knit a knit stitch on this side, you're going into the stitch and out again. I should start this off first. this way and this side is the purl stitch so the purl one you want your thread to pass from one stitch to the next on the outside of that fabric so you go in that one and the opposite direction the next one that leaves your Purl bump on that side of the fabric. On this side, it's a knit. You want your purl bump to be on the inside. So you go in through that one and reverse from this one. And that purl bump is not happening here. It's happening there at the back. Again, you want a rhythm to this, and you want something in your head that keeps you on that rhythm. And for this, I don't use my finger as a where my needle is pointing. I use myself. So this one on the back is going away from me and towards me. And on the front, it's going to make the knit stitch. It's going away from me and towards me. So it's the same instruction for both. Away from me, off and towards me. Make that in the right place. Away from me and towards me. This is a bit more difficult to get the tension right. You can see these stitches are much bigger. So once you've got started, you can tighten those stitches up. And after you've got the first few done, you can see it better on your finger. So away from me and towards me. Away from me and towards me. And that's where it's looking loose. So I want to tighten that up. Away from me and towards me. Away from me and towards me. So again, if I put in a different colour, doing the same thing. Away from me, off and towards me away from me, off and towards me, away from me, <laughs> off and towards me, tighten up from both ends, 
not too far away from me and towards me. Away from me and towards me. You now see the, the garter ridge of the two colours in it. So you've got a garter ridge here. And it's stock and stitch here. Might be better with more stitches. You see it better with more stitches done. So that's more obvious when more stitches grafted through. It's the reverse of what you're seeing here. So you've got the pearl bumps with the two colours in and stock and stitch. For lace, grafting on lace, it can be handy at times to graft a hole in and that is quite simply done. If I want to do a hole on this front needle, I do one half of the stitch and not the other. So this is going away from me and I take it off. And then on the back row, away from me and towards me. And when I come to the front, I take two together. So away from me, two stitches. Away from me and towards me. And the back, away from me and towards me. And I should have a hole. So you can go play at practicing your grafting. The more practice, the easier it gets. Um, and if you get that little rhythm in your head as you go and work on the tension of your grafted, grafted stitches.